a Windows 7 Forums video production. Visit us at windows7forums.com. Hello everyone, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com and in this video we're finally going to take a look at Acronis True Image Home. Let's get started. This is Acronis True Image Home. It's been installed. We have one le uh, legitimate active license key available for us. This is different from the previous version of Acronis True Image in the fact that this version actually requires you to in fact make sure that you have a legitimate activated copy and licensing is actually distributed per machine. So if you decide to buy this program and think that you can actually install it on 100 computers you will be sadly mistaken because you can only install it on one. You must buy the number of licenses for the number of computers you have if you want to use it on all of your computers. I personally use this on my home system, I use it on my business systems and my laptop. Let me show you how this is the industry standard for backups. To backup a system, you simply need some remote storage, such as a USB 3 uh, backup device. I personally use an eSATA, uh, a 2.5 inch hard drive with an eSATA enclosure, Rosewell. Um, I use this uh, connected to my machine. Uh, I, cr I basically do not use incremental backups, I use full backups and you have a slew of backup options available to you. And the difference here is that I previously did a bunch of reviews on Paragon software. However, um, backing up this uh, with this program is actually very easy. Uh, you can select multiple partitions, multiple drives, you can back them all up onto one uh, basic uh, location here and the backup process takes place almost seamlessly uh, without any difficulty uh, and when you actually use that backup process you can do it live with the system online without any fear of difficulty previous versions of Acronis True Image seem to have problems with that but the latest one not so much uh, as long as you have your computer on you can pretty much make a safe full backup with the system on without any difficulty in the recovery process whatsoever Mind you, if you have certain software that would prevent the recovery process from taking place, that's a different story. I would recommend doing the recover, doing the backup with absolutely uh, nothing on in the background. Take a look at the image creation mode. You can select this or it will be selected for you automatically. You can actually password protect your backups. You can create uh, pre and post operative commands. You can use backup splitting which is a very important feature allow it to do it automatically for the best possible uh, way of going about it check out validation and you can validate the backup when it's completed or you can validate your backups automatically once a month uh, once a day once a year etc and when we look at it we can see that we have an entire calendar to choose from when doing these types of backups Ultimately, the backup process is simple. We have plenty of options for compression level versus performance, operation priority, notifications to tell you when there's insufficient disk space, email to send out once the backup is completed, and we can also make sure that we don't back up certain files that match a certain criteria in exclusions. The backup process takes place fairly quickly especially when we're dealing with solid state drives. However, conventional drives will also benefit from the enhancements that have taken place with Acronis in its latest version. When we take a look at the online backup, this is something you'll probably want to completely avoid. It is extremely expensive and not worth the hassle. Um, you can easily use an account like Windows Live SkyDrive if it allows you to store the backup files or Dropbox which definitely does allow you to store the backup files using the online backup, uh, using the your backup and not using the online backup option from Acronis. Acronis charges uh, a hefty amount to use that backup option and it's not really worth it in my opinion. Creating the bootable media allows you to create a CD slash DVD ROM that will allow you to go ahead and um, basically do backups and recoveries offline. You can browse a backup and by doing so you can look for individual files in that backup file. You must understand that the importance of what Acronis does is that it creates an image of your entire system. So you'll be backing up not only your individual files and folders 
but the state that the computer is in uh, when you backed it up and when you do a full and complete restore overriding all of the data on your drives you will actually be restoring your entire computer back to the way it was when you made that backup this is an excellent program uh, for that purpose now the online uh, options that Acronis offers are not exactly even worth mentioning in my opinion they're not that great uh, in this review I'm going to exclude them simply because of the cost and uh, you know the the way that the cost is is not really worth your time when you look at the ability to do certain things you can clone disks for example you can take one disk and clone it to another something that's not very practical these days but it still is done uh, and you may actually benefit from it if you're replacing a drive. When you look at system cleanup, you can destroy usage history. These types of uh, options are becoming more and more available in many different programs. Uh, you have a file shredder and an Acronis drive cleaner. Uh, the Acronis Secure Zone is a special partition on your drive that you can create to store your backups. I use this on my laptops, for instance, because I do not have uh, ready, readily available access to backup storage media. So if you were to create an Acronis store zone, uh, secure zone, you would take a certain amount uh, of space from one of your disks on your drive. Just say you have one disk on your drive. You would take a certain portion of the free space and dedicate it exclusively to backup files. When that space gets filled up, you can delete that backup and you can make another one or you can simply uh, make do with the backup you have. You can also create incremental and differential backups. However, Acronis still seems to occasionally struggle with incremental and differential backups. I would not recommend relying on them on a regular basis. You can do uh, the backup settings transfer. This creates a file containing backup settings and moves it to another computer. This is useful if you have multiple copies licensed of Acronis uh, true image. Uh, with disk management, you can use this to add and create new partitions to disks. Of course, this is useful if you have Windows 7 Home and do not have Windows 7 Professional. Windows 7 Professional already has uh, this ability using the disk manager. Uh, and that is accessible here using disk, whoops, excuse me, using disk management.msc. We can go into the disk management Microsoft console, Microsoft management console here, and we can see that yes, we can uh, do all sorts of things with our partitions without the need for a Cronus because we have Windows 7 Professional or higher. Um, you can also uh, try to uh, use a hard drive that has more than two terabytes of capacity even if the operating system doesn't support it this is something a feature that will ultimately become a legacy feature and a deprecated feature once windows 8 is released and once more a uh, newer file system becomes available um, you can look at backup conversion and with this you can convert a windows backup into an acronis backup and vice versa you can also use an image mounting uh, option and this is once you create your image backup of your entire uh, drive you can go ahead and mount that image uh, to a drive itself and look at your your backup uh, as if it's a, a, an additional hard drive on your system ultimately a Cronus true image home is a relief it is much better in my opinion than the uh, other applications from a Cronus which are based uh, for small businesses, for mid uh, size businesses and enterprise businesses, uh, those programs seem to have sort of gone south with these additional features like data deduplication that require clustering servers. And when you look at this program, it's just perfect for backing up a Windows machine. It really is. The only unfortunate thing about it is uh, when you want to try to back up a server with this software, it will not allow you to do so. It wants you to buy a Cronus uh, True Image Workstation. Um, of course, this was once called Echo Workstation, which was a much better pro product, in my opinion, Echo Workstation 9 and Echo Server 9. Um, I'm sorry, when you want to back up a server, it wants you to get uh, the True Image Server Edition, which is like something over $2,000 or something. But this is a great... Uh, program it is number one in its class second only to Paragon in my uh, opinion Paragon I would rate 
uh, great for offline backups. This is a perfect, per a perfect program for online backups. Uh, so if you need to back up your system and you cannot rely on Windows backup, this is the program that you'll want that is full featured, readily available for you at all times, and certainly uh, it is the best in its class. Thanks for watching this video. Please visit us at windows7forums.com for more information. If you'd like to buy this product, check out the link below in our description.